welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so before I get started, I've got a lot of things to tell you and a lot of things to show you. So for those of you watching who don't want to hear that or see any of that, feel free to fast forward to the painting portion of the video and you can do that by um, clicking on the timestamps below in the description. It tells you exactly when the painting begins and all of that stuff. So um, I've got a lot of things to say and a lot of things to show you. So let's start off with crystal resin. Um, we are doing another collaboration sale where you are going to be able to save 25% off. You get your resin, let me get it, hold on. I guess I should have been prepared for that. You get resin. And then you drop the resin. Hold on. So you get resin, you get um, some pigments, some glitter, and a, uh, a stir stick. Um, I'll put the picture of it right here so you guys can see it. So it is 25% off and it is free shipping within Canada and the US. Okay. And you only have, they only have 75 kits available. Okay. So that's it. After 75 kits, they will be sold out. So if you are interested in getting a kit and saving some money, you can uh, check out the website and I will put it in the description below and you can save 25% off. Okay. So that is the first thing I wanted to mention. Next thing I want to mention is my hardboard rounds. All right. I am finally finally um, getting a shipment from my supplier. Um, today's Thursday, so you're watching this actually on Friday, and I'm actually going tomorrow, which is Friday, to pick up this uh, order from my supplier. So um, this is going to be my last order. Um, I'm not going to order anymore. Now that I've moved to London, my supplier is pretty far away. And it was quite the ordeal to figure out how I was going to pick these up from her. Um, she's over two hours away, um, but we managed to uh, find a middle median. But I still have to drive two and a half hours uh, round trip to go and pick up this order. So for me, it's a little too much and it's just it's just too much. I live too far now, unfortunately. So. This is going to be the last order I get. It's a big order, but once I'm sold out, I'm not getting any more. So uh, for those of you who have already pre-ordered, if you want to up your order, uh, you can do so. You can email me. For those of you who want to place an order, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Stock up, buy a few, buy whatever. I don't care, but I'm just telling you, I'm not getting any more. That is it after this. So get them while you can. So I have a 12 inch round. Well, it's 11.75. So just shy of 12 inches. I have a 10 inch round. I have an eight inch round. I have a four inch round and a four inch square. Okay. And these things are great. I was actually putzing around on one of them on a 10 inch. Uh, the other day I was just testing out some stuff. Um, but yeah, um, and they don't warp at all. Like they are, I poured all kinds of paint. I did a little mini Dutch pour on this and uh, it's it's perfectly fine. So um, I do like these things and I'm actually gonna try and do some clocks with these. Um, here is a coaster I've done. Um, that is with the bloom technique. Isn't that pretty? And then there's my cork backing with my stamp. So um, you can make coasters out of the four inch rounds or even um, the four inch squares. So if you are interested in ordering any of these from me, as I mentioned, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Once these are gone, that is it. Not getting any more, finished. Next thing I wanna mention is the Fluid Art Creative Escape uh, Workshop with Tammy Anderson Art. Uh, and myself in Naples, Florida this July, two, two spots left, one, two. So if you are interested, uh, email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com 
uh, for info, details, pricing, and all of that. If you are interested, we've got two spots and then that is it. Our weekend is fully sold out. Okay. It's July 9th and 10th. Um, but July 9th is fully booked. So that's it. That's all we've got left. So email us. Um, our first, um, sponsor of Michael's had delivered our stuff to the venue. So I'm super excited. It was like six massive boxes, uh, delivered by Michael's. We're super duper excited. So thank you to Michael's Canada for, uh, sponsoring that. And I can't wait to get all the other supplies sent over by our amazing sponsors. Um, and yeah, super excited. I can't wait. We're counting down the days. The last thing I want to tell you guys is about my personal workshop here in the home studio, in my home studio. I've got one spot left. Okay. That is Saturday, May 7th in the morning. If you are interested in attending, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com for uh, information. I have one spot. That's it. One spot left and then I'm at capacity. So if you are interested in attending, you can email me. All right. Um, so those are the things I wanted to tell you. Um, let me get these off the table real quick. Now I want to show you a few things, starting with last video's pour. Um, the smoky blue, I love it, dried absolutely perfectly. Now this is my favorite part. Look at that. It's so pretty. It dried so, so nice. So this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and it is available for purchase. If anyone is interested, you know what to do. You can email me. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and we really love the colors. So this is what I'm going to use to do my um, big 24 by 36 inch canvases diptych for my home, which will be I'll do in a week or so, so you'll get to see that. But yeah, I'm super, super duper happy with this. So that's that. If you're interested, email me. Um, and then I wanted to show you Mark and Sandy's big round that's going to be turned into a clock. Uh, it is finished. It is dry. It is resined. And obviously you saw a little clip of it at the beginning in the sunlight. But look how beautiful it is. Now here's the kicker. Here's what I love. Look at the sides. Isn't that pretty? I peeled the tape off and it is so crisp and clean. I love it. I love the birch wood being exposed on the side. It is so perfect. Look at the reflection from my ring light. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, now I'm just going to wait to get the clock hands because they have not arrived yet. Um, and then I'll get my hubby to... Uh, drill a hole there in the center and get the clock ready for Mark and Sandy. All right. So I guess that's it for the intro. Uh, I'm going to get started today and I'm going to tell you guys what I'm up to. So I'm going to get everything set up. I'll bring you guys down and we'll get started. Be right back. All right, everybody. So let's get started. So what I have here is a 20 by 24 inch canvas and this one will have a black floating frame to it when it's done. So I ended up buying a few more of these uh, black floating frames from Bijan's art studio here in London. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram and stuff like that on where these are from. It is a art, is it, an, it's, it is an art store here in London and they only ship within Canada. So if you don't live in Canada, I'm sorry, you cannot get your hands on these. Um, and then for those of you who are in Canada and want to order them, I will tell you this, they are sold out of a lot of their sizes. Um, so if you go on their website, you'll probably see sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be framed and this is the regular size frame, not the gallery wrapped. Um, the other painting I had showed you, the 16 by 20 with the blue, it was a gallery wrapped frame. So it was about that much thicker. Um, but this is just a standard frame, which I still actually really like because, um, you know, it still has the beautiful floating frame look to it. So, uh, yeah, 20 by 24 inch canvas. Now, let me straighten myself back out here. The color palette I'm using today is from an older video that I did. I will link the video up here at the top for you. 
Um, it was actually just some colors I was playing around with. And um, it was actually a voiceover uh, video. I've never done a voiceover and it was the only one I had ever done too. <laughs> but I wanted to try those colors again because I did put that little um, clip on Instagram and everybody loved it. So everyone, I, and it was only like on a 12 by 16 inch canvas. So it was a small canvas and everyone had said, you got to do it on a bigger scale. So here we are on a 20 by 24. And uh, the colors I'm going to be using, well, let's start off with the base, um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, all right? And that is in here as well in my squeeze bottle. All my paints are mixed with water and Floetrol. For those of you who are new watching, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. That is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints for my Dutch pours. All right, colors I'm using today are, all right, Rose Gold by Deco Art. Then, very little of this do I have, Pewter of De uh, by Deco Art. Should have refilled that. Then I have Light Rose by Amsterdam. Then 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And then topping it off, I have Mauve by Holbein. So I have a shimmer, a shimmer, a regular, a shimmer, and a regular. So there's three shimmers in here. Um, I would have loved to use an Arteza shimmer, but that would have been way too much shimmer in for one painting. So those are the colors. I will be using my Conair hair dryer. All right, and keeping in mind that the mauve by Holbein, Holbein, you know, overtakes. So you got to be careful. All right, I'm gonna flood my canvas real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so the canvas is flooded, the bubbles have been popped, so let's get started here. Um, all right, so I don't know if you saw, I had a little bit of a composition going here. Let's see if I can remember it. Uh, it was like, I guess, let's see if we can get, I've got a little bit of a clog. There we go. All right. Like so, and then from here, I went this way, and then this way. It's kind of like that. All right, so pewter, I really wish I had remembered to refill this. Let's hope I have enough, because that would really be disappointing if I did not. Better put this one aside after so I can refill it. All right, just enough. Just like nothing left. All right, then we have the light rose. Guys, today it is raining like cats and dogs. It is such a miserable day outside. It's dark, it's gloomy. It's, I wouldn't say it's cold, but it's still dark and gloomy. I had to walk the dogs this morning and they were just disgusting. They were soaking wet. They were covered in dirt. Ugh. And then you have the smell of wet dog. I love my dogs, but there's something about the smell of a wet dog that's pretty gross uh, to me. So, yeah. All right. So, again, Holbein here. I'm trying not to put too much, but I also don't want to lose it either as I add another strip. Oh, Canela, you're too much. All right, so let's pop these bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to start here and blow my way into this negative spot here, then probably continue here, here, and then go out that way. So again, as always, remember or not remember, Think about how you're gonna blow everything out before you actually turn your hair dryer on and get going. All right, so let's get started.
Wow, oh wow, I wasn't even paying attention. Look at the cells. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like this. And I love the hint of pewter uh, just coming through in here. I love it. Oh, look at this. Oh, I hope I don't lose this off the edge. Let me just scrape the edge really quick with my finger just so that I don't lose that edge. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna scrape this edge too with my finger. Oh, wow, I love it. The only thing I wish is that I had some color in this blob right here. Just right here, I wish there was some color instead of it being white. But I could, I could blow this into here, but the cells here that have formed are just way too pretty and I don't want to disturb those. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to touch it. Um, and I don't think I'm going to touch anything else on this. So, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it as I keep scraping with my finger. Um, it's, I love the colors. This is going to shimmer. Oh, I can already see it. This is going to shimmer a lot. Okay, I'm going to fix up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. And as I'm watching, the cells are getting bigger and bigger. It's gorgeous. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you guys the close-up, don't forget to take your stick and scrape those drips. Super important. Okay, do all four sides. Come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then do it a third time. All right, so look how pretty this is. I love these colors, and I really love the mauve, and I know everyone pronounces it differently. Mauve, mauve, whatever. Um, we call it mauve, um, and in Greece, it's we say mauve or mauve, so that's why I say mauve. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. I cannot wait to turn the lights off and see how this uh, shimmers. The amount of cells that have popped up over the last five minutes is insane. I love it. I absolutely love this. The shimmer on this is going to be fabulous. And on a black frame, when this is done and resined, it's going to be stunning. All right, let's turn the lights off. All right, so I've got the flash on and look at all the shimmer that's going to be in here because three out of the five paints I used, look at that, had uh, a metallic or an iridescent to them. They were all metallic actually. There was no iridescence in this one because I didn't use any Pebeo. Oh, I cannot wait to see this dry. I cannot wait. Look at this. That is such a cool part. There's so many cool cells in this piece. I love it. Lots of shimmer. Wow. I'm very happy with this. I'm so happy I did this on a larger canvas. Super pretty. There you have it, everybody. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you like the colors? Do you like the mauve and the pewter? Um, let me know. If anyone is interested in this piece, you can purchase it. Email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. As, as I said, it's a 20 by 24 inch canvas and it will come with the black floating frame. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And don't forget the crystal resin sale that starts today on Friday. There's only 75 kits available. So get your hands on one before they sell out. Uh, Fluid Art Workshop, email us. My workshop, email me. Limited, limited spots left. And the wood rounds. If anyone is interested in the hardboard wood rounds, email me. Because that is it after this. So that is it for me for now, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.